What's going on, you sexy beasts? Today we're going to be talking about the newly released Medic Assault Rifle, the Nanite Systems 11A, or simply, the NS11. This gun was released with the recent patch that came out last week, which also added a slew of weapons, which I'm sure I'll cover in the future. So without further ado, let's talk about this awesome rifle. First off, the overall aesthetics look pretty bland which to me is pretty unique on Araxis. Since Nanite Systems is a company not directly involved in the war, you can tell that they still have their own visual style to their weaponry. Overall, if you've played as a new conglomerate, the iron sights are of no surprise to you. The ghost ring is a hexagon that lines up with the forward post of the sights. Pretty simple, but also pretty effective. Personally, I like to run this rifle with the two times reflex sights, allowing the rifle to be used both in close quarters and urban engagements to medium ranges between hillsides. Now on to the beefy statistics of this gun. Now I'm not a big medic fan, which I'm sure you can tell by the majority of my gameplay being from an engineer's perspective, but this gun made me fall in love with the class. I had originally picked up the default Gauss rifle for the new conglomerate Medic, but absolutely despised how it handled. I was so used to just the normal carbine being absolutely awesome. The NS11 handles surprisingly well though, but it does deal a bit less damage than the default rifles for Medics of all three factions. The NS11 requires 7 bullets to kill, as opposed to the Golf rifles 6 bullets to kill. The Vanu and Terran Assault Rifles both require 7 bullets to kill, so this falls right in line with them. This gun fires a slightly above average fire rate of 645 rounds per minute, allowing rounds to be poured down range with reasonable amount of recoil. Reload speed is still a very quick 2 seconds, which is purely awesome because this gun sports a 35 round magazine, allowing this gun to kill up to 5 enemies in one magazine if all of the rounds were to hit. Since medics in Planet Side 2 are allowed assault rifles instead of carbines, this generally makes the fighting potential for the class to be much higher than others. If we apply this awesome logic to the NS11, this means we have a powerhouse in our hands with a stock to allow for controllable recoil. Since I picked up this gun, I've been amazed at how incredibly easy it is to keep sustained fire held down in one spot. The only downside I've found on a stock default NS11 is the wonky horizontal recoil. As you fire, the gun slightly moves up, but it also pulls randomly to the left and right, a lot more than other guns I've had the joy of using. It's not much, but it's still enough to be the difference between a kill and an assist. Obviously, to counteract this, we'll go ahead and slap a foregrip as, as the underbarrel attachment. This makes the bouncy recoil nearly unnoticeable and allows the user to focus on tracking the target instead of having to keep your gun frickin' still. As with all guns, the NS11 also sports some vertical recoil. It's not much, but can always be alleviated, right? For the barrel attachment, I've grabbed the compensator. That's pretty much my go-to for any gun. It may make you show up on the minimap from further away, but who cares? You'll have to adjust your aim a lot less with this thing, and since we're using a reflex sight, you'll more than likely be aiming down the sights when engaging targets, so the reduced hip fire accuracy won't affect us very much. Now, you could be using a laser sight on this gun if you'd wanted to, which would probably be a nice, nice addition if you do choose to be a close quarters type fighting medic as opposed to the medium range, but personally if we're going to be having a reflex sight, that means we're going to be engaging at short to medium ranges, so I probably wouldn't recommend a laser sight, but once again attachments are all up to playstyle. Since the NS11 is so freaking awesome, it allows us to use some special types of ammunition, which is pretty rare for most of the firearms of Planet Side 2. The two allowed ammo types are high velocity and soft point. Since the gun isn't a high powered marksman system, I've opted for the soft point ammo. Since high velocity kinda wouldn't really make sense for the type of ranges that I engage enemies in. So soft point increases the damage at medium ranges for your weapon, which is generally within 15 to 50 meters. How this ammo actually works though is pretty interesting. The tooltip doesn't state this though, which is kind of sad, but through extensive testing, we found out that at ranges shorter than 15 meters, the ammo reduces the damage dealt by 5%, which really won't be noticeable at all, but at the 15 to 75 meter range, the ammo actually increases the damage dealt of the weapon by a whopping 25% which effectively extends the killing potential of this rifle by a substantial amount. That is pretty ridiculously awesome. 
The only drawback to using soft point ammunition though is a slowed bullet velocity, meaning you'll have to lead targets just a bit more. This is nothing crazy, but it's still a noticeable drawback. But that's nothing compared to the 25% damage increase, right? I've found this rifle to be an awesome middle ground between the medium range default assault rifles given to the medics and the extremely high fire rate of the CQC rifles out on the market, such as the GR-22 for the new conglomerate. The attachments I've discussed previously allow much better handling and responsiveness for the gun, but once again, these are all personal preference. You could run whatever you'd like and pull it off if you're good enough. The NS-11 is just another solid weapon for the medic's arsenal. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If there's anything else I could improve on, go ahead and leave a comment below. Or if you just want to say that you think zebras are awesome, go right ahead. If you'd like to see more videos like this and others, go ahead and subscribe. It's free, and I will see you sexy beasts next time.